Hey, music fans, since it's 2018, this just happens to be the 35th anniversary of the debut of what I and presumably millions of others consider to be the worst pop song ever recorded in the history of people kind. Hint, it's about robots, I think. <laughs> How Time Flies, 35 years ago, I still vividly remember turning on Much Music, Canada's rip-off version of MTV, and seeing the music video for something called Mr. Roboto by Styx. Now, if Mr. Roboto were a vehicle, it would be the Chevy Chevette. If it were a football team, it would be the Cleveland Browns. You get where I'm going here. In any event, it was 1983. The New York Islanders were en route to winning their fourth consecutive Stanley Cup. The other Trudeau was Prime Minister, and Nintendo had just released the Mario Brothers video game. A different world to be sure, but nothing could have prepared me for what was about to be conveyed via my humongous 26-inch Zenith TV. For when Mr. Roboto blasted onto the screen, I watched with a mixture of fascination, bewilderment, and, well, frankly, horror. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Just where does one begin the autopsy? Well, for starters, let it be said that any hack can record a bad song, but to record something that is cosmically awful, something that even lives on decades later as a pop culture punchline, well, folks, that requires a huge measure of talent. Now, in fairness, the tune does have a catchy beat. Even most Mr. Roboto haters must concede that point eradicate the lyrics and you've got something that would play well for an aerobics class, I should think. But alas, it comes down to those lyrics, doesn't it? Lines such as, I've got a secret, I've been hiding under my skin, my heart is human, my blood is boiling, my brain IBM. <laughs> what the hell? I will say this, however, on the plus side, thanks to Mr. Roboto, the English speaking world at least now knows how to say thank you in Japanese. The other thing about Mr. Roboto is that this was no novelty song. It was never meant to be a goof by the band. It was supposedly to be taken earnestly and sincerely, kind of like 2001, A Space Odyssey. Yes, it was meant to be artsy and it reached so very high to make some sort of profound statement regarding technology and humanity, only to fail so spectacularly. Hey, I guess the Ford Pinto kind of looked good on paper too, I suppose. And let it be said, it certainly didn't help matters that although the band clearly blew some big bucks on this video, it remains a mystery why they decided to source those goofy robot masks from the local dollar store. Yet another factor that contributes to the legend of Mr. Roboto is that it wasn't recorded by some flash in the pan one hit wonder band, rather, Styx was responsible for this song. Yeah, the same Styx that recorded Come Sail Away and Babe and The Best of Times. These very same musicians were responsible for this musical, practical joke of cosmic proportions, this worst of times, if you will. Finally, there is the song's ending. It might just be the most jarring pop music conclusion of all time. And for whatever reason, it unnerves me to this day. I'm Kilroy! 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 Um, I think he's trying to say, I'm Kilroy. Still, in the final analysis, if you're going to be bad, you may as well be brutally, mind-numbing, wickedly, cosmically bad, not just mediocre bad. And although Mr. Roboto had a close call when it came to relinquishing its crown in 1985 as worst pop song ever, thanks to the release of Starship's We Built This City, this tune has managed to take on and defeat all crummy comers when it comes to being the most craptacular of them all. Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto, 
Indeed. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, the Rebel has a new app. Please download that app and take the Rebel with you wherever you go.